Now let's practice sending emails to contacts. Come up to the Acti Marketing icon and the default is for the message to go to the current contact. So I always look up my record and practice sending that email to myself several times before I'm happy to send it to a group. Check that you've got the correct template. Type in there an interesting subject line and in this personal message, this is where earlier on we spoke about the SPE field. If you have that attached to one of your templates, you can type in there a personal message for an individual contact or groups of contacts. And when you're ready to send, click the Send Now button. And if you want to type in a custom name for your reports, type it here. If not, the subject line will be used. And when you're ready to send, click Yes. So once you're happy with the template, you've tested all the links, you're ready to send it out. Come up to the Acti Marketing icon and here I'm going to send it to the current lookup, but it could be a group. Check you've got the right template. You can always double check and make sure you have got the right one by previewing it. And when you're happy that it's the correct template, you can then put in the subject line. You can send now or do a schedule send. I'm going to send it tomorrow at a particular time and schedule send. And in here, I'm going to put in the report name and click yes. And all the histories are now going to be written for each of those contacts. Before we look at the reports, I just want to talk to you about histories. Every time you send an email through Swift Page eMarketing, a history is recorded against the client's record. The histories show the scores set at zero, zero, the open rate at zero, the clicks at zero. But when we pull the information back from Swift Page, these figures get updated. So now we'll go and have a look at the reports. We'll click the Acti Marketing icon, we'll select the Results tab, we'll click Reports, and here we're going to access the reports on the Swift Page server. You can see that the reports stored for two months. If you want to look at reports older than that, you will have to contact Swift Page. And if you want to access your reports from any internet browser, you can just type in swiftpageconnect.com and add your username and password. Hi, this is Elaine Better Act Now. I really hope you've enjoyed watching our training video clips. If you'd like more information on the kinds of training that we offer, our CDs, our coaching program, leave your details below and we'll be in touch and we'll even send you some free resources to get you started. Thanks very much.